guys, so I heard that the seven day minimum annual leave still remains. Yes, but that's not the full story. Let's get on with it, shall we? This is the capsule. So, Senior Minister of State for Manpower, Kupo Kun, addressed this in Parliament on April 3rd, following a parliamentary question filed by MP Louis Ng. Ku pointed out that while the Employment Act stipulates a minimum entitlement of seven days of annual leave, this number climbs one day per year of service with the same employer, like this. He also shared that in 2022, more than 90% of full-time resident employees aged 25 to 64 had more than seven days of annual leave, and 64.6% of this group had more than 15 days of annual leave. That's higher than 61.1% in 2018. Ko said that increasing leave entitlement will raise some form of business costs if looking at a simplistic and direct perspective. For example, they need to hire more people to backfill those on leave. So encourage more employers to review their employment benefits more holistically because more annual leave is not the only way to let their employees get more rest and therefore become more productive at work. There are things like better training, job redesigning and equipment and of course, Flexible working arrangement. Koso said that flexible working arrangement allows people to balance between work and personal needs. So yes, I am working from home. Oh shark, sorry guys, I didn't know I was on mute the whole time. <laughs>